The dashboard is the default landing page for all client users. The dashboard displays dynamic information based on user entitlements. The dashboard is a real-time summary of transaction totals and exceptions and displays the end-of-day cutoff time. Checks presented for payment that have no issuance item found are displayed at the top as issuance exceptions. To navigate to transaction history to see checks in this status, click on the dollar total to the right of issuance exceptions. Totals for the transactions in a status of set to pay and set to return are also displayed. The set to pay and set to return sections can be expanded by clicking on the dollar amount next to each. A breakdown of pay and return status categories is displayed. To navigate to transaction history to view transactions in a particular status, click on the blue dollar amount link next to that status. Set to pay represents the sum of all transactions in a pay status state. System pay is a status based on a default setting and identifies transactions to be paid if a user takes no action. User pay identifies transactions that a user has made a pay decision. FI pay identifies transactions where an FI user has paid transactions on the customer's behalf. Set to return represents the sum of all transactions in a return status state. System return is a status based on a default setting and identifies transactions to return if a user takes no action. User return identifies transactions that a user has made a return decision. FI return identifies transactions where an FI user has returned transactions on the customer's behalf. To navigate directly to the default landing page of the service module, click the service module name link in the top bar.